everybody, welcome back to part two of the little mini lavender journals. Today we are going to um, go ahead and cut the signatures pages, get those ready, and possibly sew that in today. Uh, remembering that the first part we did the cover, and then we added this little flip, but we have not attached that yet. So. In preparation for this, I went ahead and cut these papers. These are seven and a half inches by five and three quarter. And now <clears throat> I've done 11 sheets, just various uh, avocado and tea dyed. So I think today what we'll do is just do some stenciling, stamping, and like I said, I might get it sewn in as well. So. Oh, and I was going to add some gesso to a few of the pages as well today, so we'll do all of that um, and see where that leaves us. Because once this is sewn in, we can go ahead and get that other um, flap attached, and then we can start looking at um, a couple of other pockets within the journal. So I'm just going to randomly do a bit of stenciling here and there. And then on this one, let me just add a little bit of gesso. And I'm just using a little sponge that I've cut into quarters. You can use a brush or your finger. Sometimes I, I just use my finger on it. Let me add a little bit of a uh, script stamp on the back to this. Uh, let me grab a I like to use the Stampin' Up Crumb Cake if I've um, <clears throat> If it's going to be on the page as just like, you know, some added interest, I like to use this because it's a really soft, you can see how faint that is. Because you you want to make sure, you know, there's it's light enough that somebody can come back and journal over it. Okay, let me get... A little bit of stamping going on as well. I'm going to pull this sheet back out. And I like to use the early espresso. So this is just a little like leaf stamp that I've got. I just think it's really pretty. Okay, um, 
This one I'll just do a little bit of stenciling. And again, I'll just do a bit of gesso on here. And this is just another little stamp I've got, just to add a little bit more interest there. And if you want to do any sewing to the pages, um, you know, now's the time to do it, but I'm not going to for this journal. Just one more here, and then we will be done. And I'll add a little bit more gesso on this one as well. And if you're wondering why I'm adding the gesso, um, it's really just <clears throat> for the effect of it because if you wanted to add this so that you could make this more for mixed media, you would need to, do, to apply it heavier than, than what I'm doing. So I'm just doing it purely because I think it, it makes it look a bit more interesting and I think a little bit more aged as well. And it does give a different feel to the paper. So, um, you know, for anybody that's new and wondering what, what's the purpose of the gesso, but if you applied that heavy, then <clears throat> you could prep that paper so that you could add um, more inks and paints without it affecting the paper as much. It kind of is like a primer for the paper, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, let me get these pads up because I will end up using 
mixing the wrong ink if I'm not careful. I am terrible about that. If I have more than one ink pad open, I inevitably uh, end up dipping my blending brush into the wrong ink. Okay, so I'm actually fine with those to go ahead and get that sewn in. So at this point, guys, I've shown you guys how to do the uh, sewing in of the signature. So I, well, I guess I could go ahead and try to do it on camera. Um, let me see if I can do that easily. <laughs> it's just a bit fiddly, but okay, let me get everything here. So again, I'm going to use a five-hole pamphlet stitch. Um, Let's see, where did I go with those clips? So let me just get that clipped. Where I want it first. And get my <clears throat> everything marked. Okay, let me see what um, thread I'm going to use today. I'll stick with the natural. I, I like to use this um, linen thread that, um, that seems to work really well. When I started, I started out with the waxed thread and I cannot get on with it now. It's so thick. But I highly recommend it if you are just starting out because it won't pull through the holes as easily. Um, but I don't I don't like working with it now at all. <laughs> I've got three rolls of it that I'm getting ready to send off as happy mail because I no longer need it, so. Okay, so, just get my holes punched here. Like I said, I always just keep the, the awl in the first one just to hold everything in place. I just found when I was doing this that that, that kind of helps keep everything from shifting. And then I go back and push those through so that my needle will go through there pretty easy. <clears throat> Not too much problem when it's just paper, but if you have already added pockets, then you might start having a bit more trouble with them, with them shifting around. I actually really enjoy um, the sewing in of the signature. I know a lot of people don't like doing it, but I, I really enjoy it. It's to me when the journal really starts coming together. And I just I just enjoy the, the process of it. Now there again, if it's a if if it's been um, heavily embellished, <coughs> I don't enjoy that as much. <laughs> That it becomes really tricky then, so I tend to, unless it's sewn in, I leave everything else until after I've done the signature. 
um, but if it's any kind of sewing like fabric pockets I would do prior to this. Um, okay, let me snip that off guys and I'll probably add some little butterflies to that. Let me get this mess cleared up and then start to move on. Moving on, moving on. Okay. So that's how the journal is going to um, going to be when it's finished. This will be the front cover. So I'm going to now go ahead and add this. So we're just going to glue that down and um, possibly add a couple of little pockets there because I'm going to keep the, the journal itself fairly simple. I don't think I'll add any pockets to the pages. But that could change, as you probably gather. I start off with one idea and then end up on something completely different. But I'm loving that tag. Ooh, I love that. Very pretty tag. So that'll flip over. I think we're going to have to add a couple of pockets, or at least one back here. can definitely go with something there. And then here... I think what I want to do here is a pocket that will tuck from this side so that it won't fall out. So let me just go ahead and add another pocket to this. So I'm thinking I'm going to go about two and a half by five and three quarter. So I've got my two and a quarter circle punch, and I'm just going to notch that out. If you want to mark this center, I just eyeball it. I don't always get it right, but pretty good. And I'm just going to glue that down, and then that'll form a little pocket there. <clears throat> Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I'd like to have a nice big pocket here. So let me see, I need to get some more paper. 
I've got some of this left over. I think that would be really, really pretty if I can if I can get it made. So I'm gonna go three and three quarter by about three. So have to cut some of that image off. I'm just trying to decide. I'll take it off there, I guess. Oh, I'd hate to do that. But. And again, I'll just notch that out slightly. So I'm just curious, has anybody made plans for the summer? Are, you, are any of you planning on going away anywhere or doing any camping? Um, I'm just not too sure, you know, with the lockdown, what everybody's planning this year. Or are you just going to stay at home and enjoy your own garden and, you know, maybe just do some grilling out? It's looking like that's probably what I'll end up doing this year. Okay, I like that, like it, like it. I'm just thinking... I like the little butterfly, so I think maybe somehow I want to make a little, a little pocket here, maybe with him. Let's see if I can do that. And just have a tiny little tag. Yeah, let me do that, and then I'm going to dig through and see if I've got any little labels. And then we will come back and add some, some other little embellishments to it. Yeah, I was thinking, um, we kind of got rid of all of our camping stuff except our sleeping bag, but it's in the U.S., so it doesn't do us any good. But I don't know why. Yesterday I was thinking, oh, I wonder if we should buy ourselves just a little pop-up tent, because um, we used to tent camp when I first came over here, but the weather has changed a lot since I moved over. It, it used to rain a lot here in the summer. But that's not the case anymore now. Um, and I'm now thinking, gosh, maybe we should pick ourselves up a, an inexpensive tent. But then you think, it's never, it's just like crafting, isn't it? If you start the camping, going down the camping road, it's not just a tent and a sleeping bag. Then you gotta have, you know, the coffee pot because we gotta have coffee in the morning. And <laughs> then you've gotta have the hammocks because you can't sleep on the hard ground. And you just think, no, we probably better just just say that that's behind us now. But uh, yeah, just curious what everybody is planning. Okay, so we've got three little pockets now. We'll come back and fill in. So I wanna do. Probably a tag here. I'm thinking a, a large journal card here. And then add, you know, in some more. Oh, we've got this as well. Mm. Could do something with, although I don't know if I want to do too much on that one because it's going to, that's going to show. We do have a couple more pockets. All right, let's get a couple more pockets in here, guys, and then that's going to be it for part two. 
and we'll have to come back with another part on this. Okay, this was one of the little, um, remember when we cut that out, I'm wondering about using that, but then again, I really like that, it's a little journal card, that's really cute, I think I'm going to keep that and tuck it in as a little journal card, so let's see if we can make a little pocket here. I'm not mad on that side of the paper. I think I'm going to go with this one again. Could just do a belly band. And do a pocket here. Just have a belly band there. Yeah, I think I like the idea of that. So I think what I'm going to do in that case is grab some of my scraps. Oh, I know what I've got. On the end of these papers, you've got this little strip that I've been tearing off. I'm just going to take those and layer those up. I think that would be pretty because I don't want to waste. And I like the idea of that. Okay guys, I'm going to run this to the machine, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have taken that to the machine, so now you can see I've stitched that. And then I'm going to add just that little bit of lace there and get some glue. Where's my glue? Glue, glue, glue. Okay, now let's get that down. Okay guys, I am going to leave it there. I think that's quite a lot for you to catch up on with. So, to the next part we will add probably a journal card here. We'll do another pocket, or probably two pockets here. That might be nice to break that up. And then we'll start filling this in. And then the last thing we'll do is um, decorating the cover. And uh, so that should, we should be able to do all that in the next part. So there you go, guys. Oh, a tag for that as well. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you're enjoying this, and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see any of the makes that you guys um, do using the tutorials. Just um, tag me on Instagram or on Facebook. 
um, because I haven't figured out how we can share this within uh, Patreon yet. But I am trying to find out as much as I can. But anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying that, and I'll be back soon with part three. Take care. Bye.